Chrissy Teigen wants you to stop. Blue Ivy has people signing up for hashtag Ivy League. People are coming for Tristan Thompson's edges. Rob Kardashian is in hot water. We've got the 401 on books and we have our motivational quote of the week, photo of the week and more. So stay tuned. Welcome to What's the 4 on 1, your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Khan. I'm Monika McQueen. How you doing? Hey, girl, you look looking cute. Thank you. <laughs> so what you, you got? What you got? So, film director Ava DuVernay is tackling another tough topic, this time affecting African Americans. Using the Central Park 5 case, DuVernay oh. will explore the subject of social and criminal injustice. Central Park Five, a five-part documentary, will debut on Netflix in 2019. Oh, wow. You know all the kids, you know, the activists be all down for that. Oh, oh, Listen. No, well, one of them. I know I know one of them. Really? Personally, yeah. Really? Just yeah. like the 13th. Okay, mm -hmm. good for her. I like her. She's, I'm, I'm, you know what it is? She got Oprah back in the up. So <laughs> Oprah, Oprah's so rich now, she came back black. Good for you, Oprah. You good need to you. stop. She anyway. did. She did, though. Actually, <laughs> so did Jay-Z. Anyway. Who is not black? Uh, Christy, Te <laughs> Christy Teigen, right? She is sick of you guys sending her photos of babies that look like John Legend. She's like, enough of it already. That's enough. weird. No, but you know how John Legend looks like somebody's little kid. You know his face? <laughs> no, it's a lot of kids that look like John Legend, no? All right. It's a, it's a thing on the internet. Is People it just, are weird. No, okay. People Stop are. sending the girl photos because he's not your baby daddy. How about that? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, and be on the lookout for Rise TV. Now, what started out as a magazine is growing into a VOD streaming entertainment magazine, um, and it's a mobile app. It's based in Atlanta, and Rise, which stands for Recognizing the Young, Successful, and Empowered, very nice, will soon become a multimedia group offering the magazine, TV content, and an app. So they're TV doing big content. things. Everybody's, everybody's looking for TV contact. We were just talking about that. It's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, <laughs> four, 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 right? Uh huh. The Jigga Man. Yeah. Ho. Right. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. well, I've, I've, I've listened to that Dogon album like 150 times uh -huh. now because it was marketing genius anyway. You know? Okay. You don't, okay. you don't think so? Like, you have okay. to of download course. title for. For $20 and all of I didn't do that. So I haven't heard but it. So no, you, you can oh, tell me more. Oh, no, because Apple it. Music has it now. So I heard it. But I was in the 4040 at 12 o'clock midnight when it dropped because Ooh. I be doing those kind of oh, things. Lord, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Just stop showing off. You just show off. Follow me on social media. Just showing off. I am. No, it's true. I'm not lying. It's true. I'm not uh -huh. showing off. You only can show, you're showing off if you're lying, I think. Right? I'm oh, bragging. I'm, right. Whatever. Any dog on way. <laughs> so, but Jay Z, what he thought was that his confessional album was going to drop and it was just going to, which, which it did. But mm -hmm. he got trumped by another Carter. And it wasn't, oh, little, and it oh. wasn't little Wayne. It was little Blue Ivy. She got bars. I heard it. I heard it. I, heard it. I was like, She got bars. She said, Mom, Father Jay Z, my mama's Beyonce. It is. Shaka laka laka. Shaka laka laka. <laughs> she was doing her thing. Every, everybody. It's all hashtag Ivy Lee. You're right, yeah. I know, was, I know Jay good. probably looking at her like, Really? Well, really? Okay. Well, good for her. I love that family. I yeah, love that family. And I please do. check out that album because it is the dopest. Chloe Kardashian, Northwest, and Kristen Thompson had a photo, okay. right? They were together. But the internet, you know, they always acting crazy. No, they, they come for people Yo, they all, the time. all the they time. Do. Like, no matter what you're yeah, doing, God, yeah. the Kardashians, I don't understand how they make money because it seems like so many people, I guess they love to hate them, right? Right. So <laughs> this is the internet. So this is the internet. They're like, Kristen Thompson, why are you not with your own doggone kid? But, True. But, Okay, Facts. so you can't be with any children. <laughs> <laughs> like they just look. The people haters are gonna hate. They just gonna do it. I don't. I don't know. They don't. They never hold back. But so yeah. But this next people, they kind of deserve to hate. So lawsuits, they keep coming, coming for Kylie and Kendall Jenner. Cause you did you see the T-shirts that they had uh -uh. with like you know Tupac and they had their their face superimposed and they have Biggie and their faces superimposed on top of it. They can't. So, they can't do that. Hell no! Because they, they, they're white people. It's not even that. They're just they're, they're just not in the same league. Like no. So first, Can they not be fans. No, no. 
<laughs> so All first, Valetta right. Wallace, Biggie's mom, she hit fast and furious. She's like, absolutely not. Do not do this. And now, according to Billboard, photographer Michael Miller is suing the sisters for copyright infringement over the use of photos he took of the late rapper Tupac Shakur. So they are in, they're in hot water. Chris will fix it. Chris fix everything. <laughs> <laughs> Chris got mm. it. Chris got it on the black china tip. Chris oh got it. It's all, it's all good. Welcome back to What's the 411. So now we have some stories, right? Okay. okay. So did you see the Tupac movie? No, I did not. No. Oh my God. You have to see it. But I heard it wasn't good. Though. I know, but you got to judge it for yourself. Uh, kids. I mean, like, yeah. but anyway, <laughs> right. He was a good writer. Okay. And, and he had like a lot of chicks. I did not know that he was dating Quincy daughter, Quincy Jones's daughter. Oh. Did you know that? No, I and did when not. he died, like she was in Vegas with him at the time. So you should watch the movie. But anyway, he was dating Madonna girl. Okay. I so did not know that. The elderly, because Tupac would be like 45 now, right? Oh I'm, my God, Madonna you is, always throwing shade at Madonna, man. Ma Madonna but, is but 100. He, but, he, but he wanted them cakes, though. Okay. What cakes? Money? I don't think he was. it was about no. money. Oh, cakes. 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 What's cakes? <laughs> Madonna had cakes. We, we talking about butts right now? No, he was not trying to get but cakes. He, but then he, he dated her? He, he dated, dated her, right? He dated her. Okay, right, so then. Anyway, so he so wanted them cakes. So then, okay, he dated her, and then he and then he broke up with her. But he broke up with her, not like people break up with me with a text message. Ooh. He broke Ray up. Ray Ray. Ray. It's Looking not at you. It, no, it's Amadou. But anyway, <laughs> so he broke up with her. His dear John letter is up for uh, auction. I saw parts of that, and really? I was like amazed. I was like, that "Gotta was have really it's like gotta have rock and roll website something like that." Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's, it's up there, and he's talking about how you know he really she was nice and everything, but for her image, it would have been it looked good for her to be dating a rapper, but for him, it was kind of like he'd be letting people down because they're like, "Wait, you dating this white woman?" So it showed that he was really thinking about his he image. Was a conscious and brother, he was very conscious, and he's like, "You know, it's not you, it's me." Mm, he wasn't that, that conscious. I know. <laughs> Still hitting it. <laughs> Little Tupac. But yeah, he was like, yeah, he was, you know, going through stuff. He said he was trying to grow up and, and all of those things, but he really wanted to talk to her after, you know, he wanted her to come to prison, see him, so they could talk face to face. I don't know if she ever did. Of course she did not go to prison to see him because the media would be there. But any door Damn. Away. So that's, the, that's, that's the bad. See, Madonna, is, look at you, Madonna. I'm looking at you. She's an elderly person. You like that would be a lot for her joints. <laughs> You need to stop. I won't be going up there. They don't have no Ben Gay in those buses. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But I don't know. I wonder if they Madonna talked after prison that, though. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder, too. But when, you know, once he got out. They all have those stories. They all have those stories. And uh, and the reason why I'm saying that they all have those stories, back to Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. He says in one of his songs that he talked to Prince before he died and how um, we... People need to stop taking record deals because all these executives, all they're doing is taking taking the creative artist money and all this stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, so they want us. And this is a, another case of it. Uh, you need to sell a letter. I mean, they really don't. I'll but you know what? But people just want. They but they just said, they said it shows the softer side of Tupac, how he was well educated. We already know we that. We already knew that we, from we, listening we, to his life rap and listening to him talk and even an interview and stuff. He was and always all a the, really. the schools that he, were in, he, he was, was in, like, he, and he was born to Afina Shakur, who was an actress. So come on. She's going to make sure her boys are educated. But whatever. Anyway, what are your thoughts about? No this revelation. Of I Tupac think it's. I think I'm. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that he was dating her. That because she's one. the elderly. Not because she's elderly. I mean, she's always been a cougar. She's doing her thing. Whatever. He liked it. He was clearly with her. He liked it. I remember she used to mess with. I'm like, well, let me shut up. Okay. Allegedly, you, she you used to mess with Peter Shue, uh, that who's like a drug dealer back in the day. Okay. Anyway, what? No. What? The, whatever. Go but ahead. I like that he saw. You know, he wrote a letter and it was very thoughtful. And he really reflected on his image and everything in that letter. I, you know, I got even more respect for him from from that. Even though he was messing with Madonna. And even though, I mean, they were both huge stars at the time. I'm not super surprised. But he had the consciousness to be like, do I really want to align myself with a white woman? And that. But she had to be more than a white woman. No, of course, of right. course. And that, that's what I'm saying. They had stuff in common in terms of being both really big stars, but. Thinking in terms of, oh, what will people think of me because, you know, they have What's propped me up as this conscious person. And if I date a white woman, what is that going to mean to them? Show some, some awareness. Not that I'm saying that he should have done it. But not he that was I, in not jail. Even, not that even that I, 
I'm saying that he should not have dated her or he should have broke up with her because of that. But there's just an awareness of he how that He was in would jail. Look. Sometimes they start thinking when they're in jail, you know, deeper. They're like, shit, you know, all those guys walking around in the yard. You probably say, shit. Mm. So, so Nico would have been up here. So that, <laughs> <stupid>. My dog. <daughter. laughs> That's so, all. So does Rob Kardashian need to go to jail so he can start thinking deeper? Because Rob Kardashian, if you meet a stripper, <laughs> yo, did you see her wig? Like she had on the he beat me wig, like had a dust bomb. <laughs> she made a short, like go ahead, Black China girl, get your coins, get your coins, get your coins. Well, right. Well, you you obviously know about the Black China Rob Kardashian debacle that has been playing out on social media. It's crazy. So apparently, Rob Kardashian had like this meltdown on Instagram and he posted a bunch of like expletive laden posts about what she did and cheating on him and drinking and all this waka 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 and what really got him in trouble is that he also posted pictures of explicit pictures of her nude. Yeah, he and so, jail that cuz you can't so do that. You can't do that. It's re it's revenge porn. Mm -hmm. So they booted him off <laughs> of Instagram. But then he was like he wasn't done. He went to Twitter and he said he said, "You know, um which made me laugh. It made me laugh when he said this. He said, we had a beautiful baby. Girl, that was the best thing that happened to me. And as soon as that baby was born, China was out. Soon as Kylie and Tiger broke up, China was over the game. She had a baby out of spite, and I'll never view her the same. I truly thought China wanted a family, and that's why I was so loyal to her. But I learned my lesson, and everyone else was right. People were telling him the whole time that this was not necessarily a legit relationship and it's only now that he realizes what this is when anybody would ask oh well like, this is oh not well real. your sister's been doing to the whole black nba <laughs> oh fucking well hey hey calm as a bee no calm and, as a bee oh well good you, you got a kardashian reparations reparations <laughs> good you, you, the whole nba the whole you, you know, okay girl you i'm okay? sorry <laughs> I'm just saying. We I'm just the one who's we, like, no, because we've been saying, look, it's the Kardashian curse. It's the Kardashian curse. Maybe it's coming to an end. Listen, well, he messed himself up. So whatever she did to him or didn't do or whatever, cheating on him, allegedly, by posting those revenge porn pictures, now he's in hot water. And Black China's not playing games. She hired a lawyer. She was on Good, um, Good Morning America. She was talking about the, the effect it had on her, and it was really, you know, embarrassing. <laughs> and <laughs> Lisa Bloom is her she, lawyer. She said it should be, it's really about you as a stripper, girl. That's like Amber Rose with that Regina picture <laughs> with her hair all little crazy. And, but mm -hmm. you know what the thing is, and this is true, there's a difference between what you put out there willingly and then what someone puts out about you. Okay, so, so if so you've been that, putting stuff like that out there, before. No, no, that's her prerogative. But you can't then come and say, oh, these pictures that you gave to me in private when we were together, I'm going to put that out there. No, that's a no-no. Absolutely not. He was wrong for that. When but people but ask how, me to put on, send nudes, I put on the, uh, uh, I put on the khaki color nude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a nude outfit. Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't know about doing that. But, but, the, but, does, but does Rob need help now? Because I really think but, that for Rob him to just be this have messed you, have up. You, and, have you watched... Keeping up with the Kardashians? I don't. See, that's the thing. So Rob, Rob no. <laughs> needed help for a long time. He got really, really depressed. Well, I know gained, about that. And he gained a, a bunch of weight. Right. And became very, very jealous. Mm -hmm. And, you know, come on. Like, he has, he's dealing with mental illness. Period. Yeah, depression. She, yeah. she knows that. He, the whole family knows that. They're dealing with mental Ill, illness. On the onset, so so you take a person that you know is clinically depressed. I don't care. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that, and then post photos, uh, a video of you kissing another man. Yeah. Mm. Now come on, she antagonized that yeah. man. And several days later, her new man posted pictures of her in bed with him. <laughs> I was like, really? She's really throwing salt in that wound. No, she, she's not. She, she's well, she, she she's good. throwing salt in that wound. Oh, As she should. As she should. Do so, you think that yeah. she is leveraging this for more publicity, a reality show, something else? What do you think? No, oh, she's going to sue him for defamation of character. Well, she's already she gonna, she gonna No, she... She is... She could just, like, turn into, like, Stacey Dash. They'll have on Fox News. All I do know is this. Black China is never going to have to clap a booty again. Amen. <laughs>
Amen, girl. Amen. <laughs> Get you a good little man. She already does. No, no, not that guy. Oh, Lord. Get mm-hmm. you a real good little man, like Eve, like one of them billionaire guys, and, and boil out. I feel like she was looking for a come up, but that's just me. As All she right. should. Like, she shouldn't. He, well, the Kardashians came up on off, off Ray J. Yeah. Like, their whole family. Came off off Ray J. <laughs> Poor Ray J. He like, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it. Listen, I that's hit that, it. that. I hit it first. That sex tape. Yeah. They came up. Yeah. Off of Ray J. Okay, so she, the one little black girl, she can come off off of him. That that can happen. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Charge it to the game. So New York Post had this article. Not that I read New York Post, <laughs> but mm-hmm. New York Post had this article about uh, a Japanese trend that's going on, where the Japanese men—not all of them, but this subculture, I guess—has these uh, anatomically correct dolls, like sex dolls, but like whole women-looking okay. dolls, right? <laughs> whole women-looking dolls, <laughs> and they, they don't can, blow them up. They stay that they can have sex stay. with, like, like, like. Like if you had a cabbage patch, but a cute Japanese one, big life size, life size doll. They have a life size doll that you know the mouth, or whatever it works, all the stuff works. And they say that they do this and they have these dolls because the women won't do what they want them to do sexually. Or right. not even that. They're and not just, just sexual. Yeah, it's, it's, just not like, just sexually? it's just like, you know, they're not providing for all of their needs. And so this. But why would you have the doll? The what, doll. What else? The doll can't speak and the, the doll, to the movie, go to the movie. But no, there's one particular man that they, they pointed out. One um, one particular. Okay. One <laughs> no, no, no. There's, there are many men who are doing this. But one man in particular mm-hmm. that um, another article had, uh, they, they talked to one of the guys. And he said, you know, I, I took one look at her, the doll. And fell in love with the doll. He was in love with the doll, and he said, "Listen, what? This is what he said. This is quotes. Japanese women are cold-hearted. They're very selfish. Men want someone to listen to them without grumbling when they get home from work. So Miss Doll, you know, provides silence. Right? Whatever problems I have, quote, Mayu, he named her, is always there waiting for me." I love her to bits and want to be with her forever. I can't imagine going back to a human being. I want to be buried with her and take her to heaven. Well, that man's crazy, <laughs> first of all. So we don't want to talk about this all of y'all. Because Kizzy will always find a no, way crazy person. No, That's a crazy what, person. That's crazy man. No, That's crazy man. No, but there are other men in here who have multiple dolls. In fact, there's another guy. It wasn't so they, just him. So what they have in a, a doll... Orgy? No. What had happened was with this other guy, he had multiple dolls, and he doesn't live. He doesn't. He's actually. But you not have married. to look at these men. He's not actually. Look at them. He. This man is my size. <laughs> okay, sorry. Go ahead. He's not married. He has a girlfriend, and he just likes the dolls. He feels like it's kind of like a hobby, like NASCAR. He's like you know, some people collect Lamborghinis. But does he have sex with the dolls? Of course he does. They're multiple sex dolls. Okay, so he can, so as long as he not like the crazy man falling in love with him, <laughs> you can have multiple sex toys. Okay, so okay, so so answer me this: If a man is married and he has a sex doll, is that cheating? Uh, absolutely not. If a woman is married and she has a dildo, <laughs> is that cheating? No, it's but, not. But he's taking her out. He's neglecting his wife. And he says that. He's like, I don't I don't even really I don't even need human relationships. I can just be with this doll and that's be good. the crazy man though. We can't we're not talking about the crazy man, we're talking about the story in general. Like calm on Kizzy. Now you, no, I'm, he is you not, don't be mad at me for what the I'm man not, is doing. I'm not, I'm not all I'm saying is first of all first of all, this is the question. The question is, what's this notion, right? And and I hear people saying that that women are not doing what their husbands want them to do. Like that used to be a thing that you just had to obey your husband, yeah. right? But now it's I don't feel I don't feel like that's a thing anymore. I don't feel like that's a thing anymore either. And I think that these men are doing a great disservice to their relationship instead of working on the relationship with their wife and trying to figure out well what it is. Because he was saying after the kid we stopped having sex and that made well, me Steve sad. Well, Steve Harvey blah, blah, says blah. Steve Harvey said men oh, all they want you to do is have sex with them, feed them, and uh, and uh, shut up. Right? 
And this so is what he's saying. He's good. like he's talking about they can't yeah, feed you though. Can't feed you. Can't can't they do anything. Out. And he's basically starting this emotional affair with. He's <laughs> really not though because it's a dog. But no, no, your dildo's no. Not, you're not. You don't no, fall no, in love with them. No, no. But that's the thing is you don't take you don't take him out. You don't take him out in the street. Take it on vacation. Exactly. Which is what he's doing. <laughs> he's taking him out on dates and going I would take out a sex toy here. on on on. I not would take out on vacation in. In vacation, it's, it's in the room. It's not out in the girl. Bye. He's just, doing that though, and he's me. ignoring his You're wife. You're talking about the crazy one man, but I'm <laughs> but, talking about. Listen, the whole thing is, I think that they should focus on the one that they're with to make that stronger. Now, the guy with the who's thinking, oh, it's like a Lamborghini. I just collect them. If he wants to have a bunch of sex dolls and his girlfriend's fine with it because she's kind of like grudgingly accepted it. That's a different story. That is like the dildo or the porn or whatever else. Yeah. But for this, people who are literally saying this gives me, provides me with something my wife doesn't, they have an issue. But and they need to like but think about a work dog, it out. Right? So some people, like animals and stuff, give them love and affection and that, that people don't give. Right? I don't mm. know. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I Yeah, this is, yeah. I don't know. So if you're, if, okay, one last question. So if you're a man... Brought a sex doll home. A whole doll. A whole doll. First of all, we live in New York. I nobody have a room for the whole doll. Where's she going? Where is bitch going? Where is bitch gonna be? Where's she gonna be? She's gonna be in the bed with y'all. Three of y'all. She's not gonna be in the bed with us. That's silly. I'll mess around, I'll be messing with her. She come home. Her wig be twisted. You stupid. Girl, you crazy. <laughs> he gonna be mad at you. And our photo of the week is Tupac and Madonna. Please take a hard look at that because they in a club looking high as hell. <laughs> Girl, it was the 90s. Everybody was high. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. Coming up next, Troy Johnson, CEO and webmaster of AALBC.com, and Ruth Morrison are giving a shout out to Go On Girl Book Club oh. for the way it gives back to the community. Wow, and they can help you find a good book too, right? Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. I, I could spend all day talking about book clubs, but mm -hmm. I, I want to, you know, mention. The Go On Girl Book Club. Uh, Go On Girl Book Club. Book Club is really a misnomer when you describe this institution. Mm -hmm. Go On Girl has better than 30 chapters nationwide, hundreds of members, and every year they host an annual award ceremony. And that just happened this past weekend. And, you know, just a t another terrific event for women to get together. It doesn't have to be women, it's actually open to anyone. Mm -hmm. uh, but primarily their, their members go. It's held in different cities every year. And you know they do their best to uplift authors and help celebrate African American literature. I also work with them so such that if you uh, buy any of the books that are on their reading list through AOBC.com, any of the commissions that I earn I redirect to their scholarship fund. Wow. So they, um, not only do they are they supporting ALBC, I'm supporting them, and they support... Um, the, the larger community. Yeah, they, they support uh, potential, you know, future students. Right. So it's 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 really a win-win-win, and uh, we all benefit, and not to mention the reader that's going to be reading a great book. Right. So they're reading lists. For the past 25 years, I have their entire reading list on ALBC. And um, they're all excellent books. So if you're looking for a good book to read, just check out uh, Go On Girls Reading List and you'll find them. Well, that, that's a, a great organization to give a shout out to. So go on, girl. <laughs> Continue doing what you do because that is a really, yeah. you know, great thing. I mean, and that's what we should be doing in every aspect of our lives. You know, working it so that you know we keep things within the community. Sure. So, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and Go On Girl is just one example of the great many uh, book clubs. Now, they're a massive organization, but there are other book clubs doing the same mm -hmm. thing, on a, on a sm albeit on a smaller scale. Our motivational quote of the week is, success belongs to those who chase it. 
This is a quote from Chris Lewis, or Louis. Chris posted this quote in the comment sections on one of our YouTube videos. So keep posting those motivational quotes and you never know when we might pick them up and feature them on the show. And now, what do you have in the pot, gal? Oh, Lord. Caribbean cookup time. Yes. yes. This is the segment where Kizzy highlights her culture and then just like blows us away with all the knowledge mm. and information and the new. I hope it's not. This is, about, this is going to be an interesting story. This is interesting knowledge. So. And then she puts on her accent. So no. do it in your F patois gonna, no, thing. No, 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 okay, no patois. Okay. Sorry. So fan lines might have made the song famous, but this story, this is what I call heavy tea bumper. Do you know what a heavy tea bumper is? Absolutely not. It's a big backside, big okay. booty. Heavy tea. Heavy tea bumper. Okay. okay. So bumper. Bumper. So like a truck bumper. Yes. Okay. Bumper. Okay. But that was my path. That was my accent. You I know. See? I you know. See? I'm just. You I'm see? Just, she I'm wasn't just, ready though. She no, wasn't ready. I'm just okay. showing the people. Just so the people can know. I'm interpreting. Go ahead. So Zoka artist Destro was having a concert, and during the concert, like people do, she invited a man from Belize onto the stage. Now she had him lay down on the stage, right? And you know she's doing her little thing, and then she drops butt first on his groin area. That did not go well. She burst his bladder, burst his bladder. The man went in there <laughs> for like some fetting and some fun and some bacchanal, and he got a burst bladder <laughs> instead. And so he sued her. He sued her for pain and suffering. He sued her for his medical fees, two months of missed work. And she ignored it. She was like, whatever. And so a Belizean judge just said, you know what? We're giving him money. So they gave him just over 55000 TT dollars, which is just $25. a little. $25. It's American like. American money. No. no <laughs> it's 10000 A little, little less than $10,000. <laughs> The average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. I don't know where the time went. But it's over. That's going to do it for this week's edition of What's the 4 and one Your smart source for urban and lifestyle and entertainment news. Until next week, check out our website, www.whatstheforeone.com. Yes, and remember to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And please check us out, and we just might mention you on the show. I'm Kizzy Cox on behalf of Anika McLean. Thank you for watching What's the 4 and one We'll see you next time. What's the 411? They got the 411. We got the 411. What's the 411? They got the 411. What's the 411? What's the 411?